Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. In this video, I am going to introduce you to new features which have been introduced in Informatica B2B DX 10.4. Now let's quickly go over the agenda for this video. I am going to give you an overview of the new command line utilities that have been provided by Informatica B2B DX 10.4. Also, we will see how to enable or disable endpoints, profiles and schedules using DX command line utilities. Also, using command line utilities for executing event utility actions like reprocessing an event, discarding an event will also be discussed. Now the first link that I have provided as a part of this slide contains the full product documentation for the new features which have been introduced in DX 10.4. We have now introduced the ability to perform event utility actions using command line utilities. So a user can reprocess, resend, discard and change status of various events using the command line utilities. Also we have now provided the ability to perform the following tasks using command line utilities. You can list endpoints, profiles and schedules and you can also enable or disable endpoints, profiles and schedules. Now let's take a look at a hands-on demo of these various command line utilities. Now in this example I am going to discard an event using the event utils.sh script which has been introduced as a part of a new feature in B2B DX 10.4. Now as you can see on the command prompt I can see a message saying that the event has been discarded. Now let us see in the DX admin console if this event has indeed been discarded or not. Now as you can see in the DX admin console the event ID with 4018 now has an event status of discarded after we ran the command just now. Now as you can see I am now going to use the list objects.sh script to list all of the profiles that are present in this current DX instance. If we open this file called profiles.xml, we can see a list of profiles which have been written to this file. Now all these are profiles which are a part of the current TX 10.4 instance on which this command has been run. In this way you can list all of the profiles and write them to an XML file using the command line utility. Now let me show you how you can disable endpoints using these command line utilities. Before I go into the command itself, let me show you the contents of the endpoints.xml file that got created when I used the list object script in an earlier command. Now as you can see in this endpoints.xml file, I have a single endpoint namely the test file set incoming files which is currently in an enabled status. Suppose I want to disable this endpoint using a command line utility. How can I do it? Let us look into the command. Now the command to achieve this is so as you can see when I ran this command it says disable operation completed. Suppose we want to check whether it got disabled or not. Let us go into the DX admin console and check if it indeed got disabled or not. Now as you can see for this test file set incoming files you can see the status is currently disabled. So this is how using command line utilities you can enable and disable endpoints. That is all from us regarding part 1 of the new features which have been introduced for B2B DX 10.4. We would love to hear from you. Write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet to us at infosupport which is our twitter handle. Thank you and have a nice day.